I get asked a lot how you make menus in Pygame. Usually when people ask me this, they're really wondering how you basically make screens for like different menus and the game itself. And conceptually, this is actually pretty simple and I'll be, for this video, going over the simplest way to do it in the sense that it's the simplest to understand. There's other nicer ways to write it, but I'll be going over the easiest way to understand it. So basically, if you want different menus, you just have to have functions that run their own independent game loops, and you can just call those functions to run that menu, or the game itself, which would be inside one of those functions. And I've already got one screen set up here. This is the main menu. It's got a, it's a function with a game loop inside it that runs when the function is called, and the function is called down here, and it runs that game loop. This is just some text to show that it's on the main menu, it just renders main menu on the screen. Uh, and yeah, this is a pretty simple menu. I'll show you what this looks like. It's pretty much just this black screen that says main menu up here. For this video, I'm not going to be exploring like GUI elements that much or GUI elements. I say GUI, I don't think I should, but whatever. Yeah, I'll just be going over the overall concept and not the GUI or GUI elements themselves. In this tutorial, I'll actually be making red buttons that you can click to switch between the essentially menus, like the game menu and the options menu, not that there will actually be a game or options, it's just as an example. So let's make two buttons here. They're just going to be recs that you can click. So button one equals pygame.rect, let's put it at 50, 100. Let's make this 200 by 50. And then we need to make button two, which I'll put over here, 200 pixels from the top. And then we need to do the collisions for them and the rendering, so I'll do the rendering first. So pygame.draw.rect, pygame screen 255, zero, zero, which is red, and button one. I just copy that, switch this one to two, and now both of them will be rendered. Next up, we need to do the collisions and stuff so we know if we've clicked it. So that's just going to be mxmy equals pygame.mouse.get pose. That'll just put the x and y positions of the mouse into here. And then I just need to check for collisions. So if button one dot collide point m mx my and if button two dot collide point mx my so if the mouse touches these buttons and now i need to add clicking which is also pretty simple it's going to add a click variable click equals false and it resets every frame before it handles the input click equals false and then i need to set an event for it so if event dot pipe is mouse button down if event dot button is one, click equals true. So click will be true for one frame whenever I hit the left mouse button. So that variable basically tells me if I've hit the click button that frame. Or technically it's carried over into the next frame since the events are handled after the collisions. So if click, I'll set a pass there, and if click. So now anything that goes where these passes are are if the buttons are clicked. Let's make Two other sample things. I'm going to make a game, quote unquote, and this is gonna have its own game loop in it, which is how you do this thing, and its own event. And for the escape, I'm going to make it so if you hit escape, it'll exit the game and go back to the main menu. So for this, all I gotta do is do running equals false. I'm gonna do a running variable over here, equals true, and then put that as while well, running. So as soon as this running variable is set to false, this while loop will end and this function ends. So it exits this function and goes back to whatever it was doing before it called this function that is game. And the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some text that says game. And let's do another one. And let's pretend this is the options menu. And you basically just do the same thing. You can exit with escape. And now what you do is once those buttons are clicked, you can just call the game function and it'll run the game. Or you can call the options function and it'll call the options menu. And once you hit escape on those menus, it'll finish these functions and go back to whatever it was doing in this main loop here. And inside of these game loops, you can write whatever you want 
for those specific screens or whatever. So you can write all of the game logic in here and you can do some option stuff in here. So let's run this and take a look. Hold on, I actually made a mistake here. I forgot to clear the screen at the beginning of the frame with black. Just need to do it on both of these and we should be good to go. All right, so as you can see, we've got a main menu here. And it's got our two big red buttons. So this top one is the basically game button and the bottom one is the options button. You can render text on these if you want and you basically got a button. If you click them, this is the game loop and I can hit escape and it goes back to the main menu. I click the bottom one and it goes to options and once again, I can hit escape and it goes back to the main menu. And yeah, this is the easiest to understand way of implementing menus or like different screens in games. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the writing stuff part of this tutorial. Now I'd like to show you an example of uh, what some of my menus look like. Okay, so this is Drawn Down Abyss. It's got the most complicated menu I've ever made. It's not that complicated, but it's the most extensive one I've made. So I've got like different things to select here. This is just um, the GUI or GUI stuff. And I can go down to like the different sub menus, mess with stuff here. If you look, there's a bar at the top that says what the menu is, and then there's a bunch of options and I can select between the options. For this game, a lot of the menus use the same function. It's just that they have certain things swapped out depending on the uh, menu it is, which I enter through a parameter of the function. So if you look in here, all of these are menus are pretty much the same layout. This main menu is a different function, and then if I go to the card menu, it's also a different function. And obviously the game itself is a different function. So if I hit play and go to the game, it's its own function too. And then there's a pause menu, which is of the same type as the options menu, because you can see it's got that bar and the similar looking menu layout. That's how you can do these things a bit differently. Like I said, for all those ones that look the same, it's actually just one function and it's handled a bit differently depending on the name of the menu itself. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you're interested in any of my projects, you can check out my Twitter. Lately, I've been working on something new and it's actually menus, surprisingly, at this specific moment. And if you have any questions, you can go to my Discord server. I've got a channel dedicated to questions where you can ask them and I can get to them pretty quickly. I'll answer them there a lot quicker than I do in the comment section to this video, although I do answer the questions here. I hope I'll see you in the next video.